ఓం అస్మద్గురుభ్యో నమ జయ శ్రీమన్నారాయణ హై ఫ్రెండ్స్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫెస్టివల్స్ విచ్ వి సెలబ్రేట్ జూరింగ్ మార్గశీర్ష మాస ఈస్ ధనుర్మాస వ్రతం వి పర్ఫామ్ దిస్ ధనుర్మాస వ్రతం ఎస్పెషల్లీ శ్రీ వైష్ణవైట్స్ పర్ఫామ్ దిస్ ధనుర్మాస వ్రతం సీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వన్స్ వి లర్న్ అబౌట్ ఆల్వార్స్ హూ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ ఆల్వార్స్ ద వన్స్ హూ ప్రొటెక్టర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ సార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈవెల్స్ are called alvars they personally experienced the lord and then he sang, they sang the glory of the lord and then communicated to us in their own way once words were said no like uh, poetry is spontaneous war flow for powerful feelings whenever we are excited with love that love may be towards god or to, towards anything it comes out in the form of poetry or in the form of songs even alvars also in order to show their happiness in order to show their bliss towards god their love towards god came in the form of poetry in the form of dance in the form of songs now friends let us know the life story of goda devi one of the 12 alvars there is a divine place a sacred place named srivelliputtur in tamil nadu 500 years ago there was an alvar named vishnu chitta he had a beautiful flower garden along with tulsi vanam he was making garlands with those flowers and was offering those garlands to the lord in the temple one day he went to his garden to pluck some flowers and tulsi leaves suddenly he found some baby crying he looked around he did not find anybody but he found a beautiful girl in the garden did anybody leave this girl here he looked all around but he did not find anyone since vishnu chitta led saintly life he didn't get married when he found the girl in tulsi vanam he thought that god might have presented this beautiful girl to him he named the girl kodai which means a beautiful garland since then the beautiful girl had been brought up by vishnu chitta and was so fascinated by the tales narrated by him that time she was just 7 years old vishnu chitta told goda that sri ranganatha was the first deity form and he was none other than lord krishna in dwapar yuga as she was brought up constantly listening to the stories of lord krishna she wanted to marry him as usual vishnu chitta went to the temple taking the garland suddenly he noticed a string of hair in the garland what is this how did this hair come into the garland he thought vishnu chitta was so upset and went home the next day he noticed goda devi was wearing the garland and was seeing her reflection into a mirror and then put that garland back into his basket goda did you wear the garland before it was offered to god he asked his daughter yes dad every day i'm wearing these garlands before they are offered to god because i want to know whether i am a suitable girl to marry the lord we are just ordinary human beings how can you expect to marry the lord feeling so embarrassed feeling so sad that vishnu chitta could not take the garland on the next day that night lord appeared him in his dream he asked vishnu chitta why didn't you get me garland today forgive me swami and even my daughter she didn't know that she should not wear the garland before it is offered to you it had been long since i realized that she was wearing the garlands before they are offered to you 
శ్రీ విష్ణు చిత్త ఐ వాంట్ టు వేర్ ద గార్లెంట్స్ ఓన్లీ ఆఫ్టర్ బీయింగ్ ఓన్ బై యువర్ డాటర్ గోదాదేవి హీ సడన్లీ వోక్ అప్ అండ్ రియలైజ్డ్ దట్ గోదాదేవి వాస్ నన్ అదర్ దాన్ ఇన్కార్నేషన్ ఆఫ్ లక్ష్మీమాత ఆర్ భూమాత హర్ సెల్ఫ్ గోదాదేవి డిసైడెడ్ టు మ్యారీ ద లాడ్ షీ ఆస్ట్ అర్ ఫాదర్ వాట్ షుడ్ బి డన్ టు గెట్ మ్యారీడ్ విత్ ద లాడ్ ఇన్ ద్వాపర యుగ ఆల్ గోపికాస్ పర్ఫార్మ్డ్ కాచాయిని వ్రతం టు రీచ్ ద లాడ్ అండ్ దెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ కంప్లీటింగ్ దేర్ వ్రతం దే రీచ్ ద లాడ్ దెన్ గోదాదేవి స్టార్టెడ్ లివింగ్ ఇన్ హర్ ఇమాజినేషన్ ఇన్ హర్ ఇమాజినేషన్ శ్రీవల్లి పుత్తూర్ బికేమ్ నంద గోకులం వటపత్రసాయి దేర్ బికేమ్ లార్డ్ కృష్ణ షీ బికేమ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద గోపికాస్ అండ్ ఆల్ హర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ బికేమ్ అదర్ గోపికాస్ హర్ డివోషన్ టు ద లార్డ్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ అండ్ డే బై డే అగైన్ విష్ణు చిత్త హ్యాడ్ ఎ డ్రీమ్ ఇన్ ద డ్రీమ్ అగైన్ హీ సా ద లార్డ్ దిస్ టైమ్ Lord addressed him, father-in-law. Lord Krishna said, I want to marry your daughter. I will send you palanquin. Please decorate her as the bridegroom and brought her to the temple. Vishnu Chitta did the same what Lord had told him. She as a human girl and Lord as the statue of got married with each other in sri rangam as soon as both of them exchanged garlands goda devi also turned to be a statue vishnu chitta couldn't bear his daughter being separated from him then lord entered into the body of a priest and said my beloved father in law you don't worry we both will come to sri velipottur on garuda and stay there forever and we will be worshiped as andal rangamannar thus all devotees worship him as rangamannar one more important aspect what we have to discuss now is about tiruppavai the nurmasa vratham While Godadevi was performing Kachayani Vratham for 30 days, she gave us the essence of 30 Pasurams. Here Pasurams means slokas, poems or songs, which are the essence of our Vedas. Through this Thiruppavai, she becomes a bridge between Lord and His devotees. We recite all these uh, 30 slokas during Kachayani. performing dhanurmasa vratham even in tirumala during the days of dhanurmasam instead of reciting suprabhatam instead of performing suprabhata seva they chant this tirupavai she also manifests the significance of brahmi muhurta during those 30 days we wake up early in the morning take shower bath and then make pongali as prasadam and offer to lord and take it as prasadam this dhanurmasa vratham is performed from the middle of december till the middle of january on the day of bhogi goda devi's marriage with the lord is performed the next day is celebrated as sankranti What is the symbolic significance of marriage of Godadevi with the Lord? It is the unison of Atma and Paramatma. She also proves presence of the Lord in Archamurthy. Let's come with some other interesting festival in our next video. Till then, bye.